what is going on everyone we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it today so if you could like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed i am on the road to 2000 subscribers so if you could hit that subscribe button that would really help me out and at the end of the video leave a comment i would like to hear what you have to say my name is rap boy let's get into it i just took out a loan for basic needs and food yikes needs slash food i have never in my life had to take out a loan for the things that my home needs I had to make the decision of gas or food or somehow budget it and split that and get a little bit of gas and get a little bit of food until I get paid again. I said, there's no way I cannot do this. I need to have a little bit more for gas and I need to have enough food. So a firm has its thing with Sam's Club. I was like, Fuck it. let's just take out a loan for our basic needs. I feel like it, this is not okay. We're fucked. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Seems like you are. Seems like you put yourself in a position to where you have to take out loans to support yourself and your kid. This is a single mom, by the way. I'm not sure why she is having to take out loans to buy groceries and gas. That seems like uh, very bad. I would not rec <laughs> recommend taking out a loan to do any of that stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend loans, period. If you can get away with not taking out a loan to do something, opening up a line of credit to do something, I would recommend always keeping at least one line of credit open. But my thing is, if you can't afford it, save up until you can you, you don't want extra credit you don't want an extra bill thrown on top of you when you can take the money that you could put towards a bill and just save that instead and then pay it without having to pay all the interest because the interest is going to kill you the interest is going to get you never pay interest is my thing or try the best you can to have to never pay interest on uh any money that you borrow or as little interest as possible it's, it's almost impossible to not pay interest in a lot of cases but uh if you can do a zero interest and get that thing paid off asap that would be ideal anyway i'm gonna stop talking about interest this lady she's going through a hard time she's a single mom this was hashtag single mom on her account and uh she's she's going through it she is having to make these decisions um i would give her some advice my first advice is don't be a single mom it is tough <laughs> it's tough there's a lot of complaining there's a lot of whining um that's really all i know about single moms is the complaining and the whining i'm sure there's a lot of stuff going on whatever uh, that doesn't concern me none of this concerns me but if you find yourself in a position where you're having to take out loans to just buy food you're in a bad spot you've made some bad decisions you need to rethink what's going on in your life and maybe uh, not shop at the place you're shopping at. You need to go shop at, maybe not uh, at the big box store. Go, go shop at the salvage. <laughs> go save your money and shop somewhere else. Go shop. You got to buy the dented cans of soup. You have to buy the bread that is from the bread corner store. You can't get the fancy loaves at the bakery. You got to go to the bread shop. These are sacrifices you have to make as a single mom. You need to sign up for the food they hand out at the center and get the government cheese and all that stuff. You're living well above your means right now. I don't think it's going to work out for you. If you find yourself taking out loans to buy groceries, uh, you're done fucked up. You're done. You're absolutely done. Don't even think about it. N never take out loans to eat. <laughs> I never thought I'd have to say those words, but do not take out a loan to buy groceries. It's just, it, don't do it. Go to the salvage store. Buy stuff on discount. Help yourself. One of the downfalls that I've noticed since being by myself is I feel so like burnt out. I feel like I have to keep being going and always doing something. So I haven't really rested since we moved in. And I don't think I've slept a full night of sleep since we moved in. And I don't think I've slept a full night of sleep since being here. And I was literally supposed to go to class today, so he came and got the kids and he took them, but my stove still doesn't work. So the maintenance guy was here fixing the stove and it was already too late for me to go to school because my school is so far. And I'm literally so exhausted that I was just like, he has the kids. I'm literally just about to get in the shower and go to sleep, wash my hair and leave all this mess 
because I just need to close my eyes at least for 30 minutes and then I'll get up and clean before the kids get here but it's just like a feeling like of like burnt out I don't know after all these years of feeling like I was always doing everything at least now I finally get a break where I can be like now I'm gonna go to sleep which is so sad but I guess it's life and that is my day today and that's why I haven't really posted because I just don't feel You blew it. And they are insufferable. This is the life of a single mom. She is, I guess, still going to school. Uh, well, she won't be going to school for much longer if she keeps skipping class. So you can't skip class when you got school. I don't know if she knows this or not. That's not really a, a good thing to do. A lot of times you have to pay for, for, for college. So why is she skipping class? Nobody knows. Mom, they are. Here's the thing. You have a single mom. She is complaining online, which is what single moms are known to do. Yes, it, it's tough by yourself, isn't it? Yes. And here's this guy, he, her ex, came and got the kids, and he's watching them, probably sacrificing his day. Uh, probably had to take off work to do this, so that she could what? Sleep? So that she can sleep and not clean and not take care of her house? Any excuse to be some of the laziest and entitled members of society. They have been ran through. They've been walking the block. They stand on the street corners, showing their bodies online, and now they're moms and they're complaining. And we've talked about this before. We've talked about a large majority of women. We're talking 99% of women. Men describe it as women having life on easy mode, and they absolutely do. Look at this. Absolutely do. To the point to where she obviously feels comfortable enough to post videos like this. But she's so exhausted that she can barely do anything, but she has time to make a little TikTok explaining how tired she is. I don't think it's that big of a deal. A lot of moms do a lot more than what she's doing and, and don't even have time to complain. My thing is, if you have time to complain, then you have more than enough time to get everything else done in your house. That's just the reality of the world I live in. I don't have time to sit in front of a camera and complain to my... 116 followers tell them that my day is just so bad when you have free babysitters you obviously have enough funds to go back to college to, to go to school you're still in school so that's okay the dad must be paying some sort of child support or you must have some type of easygoing job or else you uh, wouldn't be able to go to school a lot of jobs do not accommodate college classes so what what types of jobs do types of jobs that really don't pay that much <laughs> or you don't have to be uh responsible a show up and get paid type of situation you don't know what it's like <laughs> you don't know what it's like out there you may think you do but you don't it's always oh you must just have so many other hoes that you're paying attention to i know you're entertaining so many different men you just don't text me enough you must not be that into me literally i just worked a full day had to come home cook me and zuri dinner listen to about three tantrums already within the span of an hour have to give her a tub put her to bed that's going to take about another two hours if i'm lucky and maybe have an hour of me time before i go to bed and you think I want to sit here and go back and forth. How's your day? What are you doing? How'd you sleep? Boy, be so for real. Next time ask me how you could alleviate some of this stress. How my mind cannot wrap around the idea that these single moms go on dating apps they go on these dating websites and then they date and then they are offended when whenever the guy they're talking to wants wants you know some of their attention that's very interesting isn't it this is why i have always said and i will always say do not fall into this trap at all You'll be wasting your time trying to smash something that's been smashed a hundred times before. There's, uh, well, now once she has the kids, once she's been ran through, the standards are through the roof. You have to meet certain criteria to even get a text message. And then she treats you like this. 
you are the last thing on her mind at all times. Everything is more important than than you if you're trying to date a single mom. You're on the back burner. You're not even on the back burner. You're on the floor. You're in the trash. It is where you are involving yourself with a single mom. And you can read the statistics. And I've been seeing something very interesting where these single moms, I'm, I might have to make a video about this in the future, but I'm not sure. YouTube really doesn't like videos like that where single moms invite these men into their homes and then these men end up being attackers. And then the single moms are, being a single mom is obviously you're in victim mode already. But then obviously you are inviting these strange men you meet online. Some of these men, they meet in the streets, literally in the streets. Invite them into their home, have them next to their families, their children, their whoever. And they turn out to be not, not these good guys. And that circles back around to bad decisions. Single moms are notorious for making bad decisions or else they wouldn't be single moms. You can't look at a woman that isn't a single mom. You can at least say she's made some good decisions in her life. She didn't end up being a single mom. But single moms, not so much. You can look at a single mom and you can just see all of the bad decisions. A lot of times it's just all over. You can't miss it. The red flag factory. You're basically fighting against her kids, her time. And then if you do get time with her, she'll probably just complain about how tired she is. Well, what can you do for her? She is sacrificing all this. So now you're the simp. And that is why any guy that chooses to get involved with a single mom in any sort of relationship way, this does not include extracurricular activities or those nighttime visits or that's between you and her. If she wants to, I, I just say, protect yourself. <laughs> you don't want to be attached to this woman long-term for 18 years. That would be the biggest headache in, in your entire life. I promise you that. But any man that chooses to become involved with these women long-term, you see it happen. These women keep him around. They keep the simp around. He's paying the bills. He's watching the kids. He's a uh, quote unquote stepdad or whatever. And then as soon as these kids grow up, as soon as they are college bound and headed out the house, she's hitting her late thirties. And now she needs to go take a girl's trip to Miami. She needs to find out what life is all about now since the kids <laughs> are out of the house. And guess what? The simp's out the picture. She's on to the next simp, the uh, the top tier simp that she's going to be looking for. <laughs> that is going to elude her at all, at, at every chance. He will smash and then he will dash. <laughs>